हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टू द डेली न्यूज एनालिसिस ऑफ 17th ऑफ फरवरी 2024 का इंपॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल आज की हिंदू न्यूज पेपर से वन बाय वन डिस्कस करते हैं पहला जो आर्टिकल है डिस्पेंड नेचर्स फ्यूरी हिमाचल प्रदेश से जीडीपी टू सी ग्रोथ एट 7.1 परसेंट ब्रेव न्यू वर्ल्ड इन द क्लियर मैसेज इन द कोर्ट्स नो टू इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड टॉरपेडोज रोल Refueler aircraft in the New Deals by DAC. Then you Chabahar Port India tells Central Asian countries. So, the first article is despite the nature's fury, Himachal's GDP to see growth at 7.1 percent. Even as the as a rentless monsoon in Himachal Pradesh brought the hill state to its Needs this year causing immense damage to life and property. The growth in the financial year 23-24 is seen at 7.1 percent, up from 6.9 percent in the financial year 23-24. The State Economic Survey 23-24, which was presented by Chief Minister Sukhvinder Singh Chukwu on Friday during the Ongoing budget session of Himachal Pradesh State Assembly said, despite the adverse situation arising out of the unprecedented rain and flash flood in the monsoon months of 2023, the state government has subscribed to put on trying unit on trying efforts and make strategic initiatives to ensure economic growth and overall development of the state. That's a real GDP at a constant price will grow by over 9,428 crore rupees during the current financial year 23-24 as compared to the previous FY 23-24. This translates into growth in real GDP during the financial year 23-24 at 7.1 percent as compared to 6.9 percent in FY 23-22-23. According to the first adva advance estimates of the state income, the survey said the survey pointed out that the tourist arrival is one of the main indicators of the demand for tourism in a particular destination after the COVID-19 pandemic domestic tourist arrivals have increased from 32.13 lakh in the year 2020 to 56.37 lakh in 2021, 2021 and 151 lakh in 2022 and further 160.05 in the year 2023 in the absolute terms it shows that the tourist arrives, arrivals are reaching at pre-pandemic levels, it is said. Hydroelectric potentials pointing out that Himachal Pradesh has a large number of hydroelectric resources. The survey said the state has about 25% of the national potential and about 24,000 megawatt of hydroelectric power can be generated by construction on the 5 perennial river basins of the total hydroelectric potential 11209 megawatt have been harnessed so far it is said the next article is brave new world india must invest in fundamental research into develop reliable drugs Expectations are high, are high that a free trade agreement involving India and the European Free Trade Association is close to fruition. However, a bone of contention relates to intellectual property rights and has persisted as an issue since 2008. Switzerland and Norway, which are, which are prominent members of EFTA, host several of the pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies that are responsible for several of the drugs and the therapeutics that underpins healthcare. Globally. The nature of the pharma in the industry, it cost much of much to discover a useful, effective drug and relatively little to make generic copies of it with demand that is far disproportionate to affordability means that there is a constant tussle between the you know, inventor, in, in, inventor and the generic drug companies. When, patenting or exclusive monopoly for a fixed number of years of originators to a and a reciprocal right by the government 
government to issue directions for compulsory less licensing thereby sensitively breaking such monopolies in the interest of the public health has brokered the peace and sustained the global pharma industry for decades but new legal innovations such as data exclusivity continue to <coughs> in vehicle themselves to in free trade negotiations under this provision all the clinical trial data that concerns the close safety and efficiency efficacy of a drug generative by the originator firm becomes a proprietary of proprietary and out of bond for bond for a minimum period of 6 years permission to make generic is possible if a country is regular regulator can rely on supplied clinical trial data to approve a drug for this generic markers usually rely on the originator's published data the principle of data exclusivity is present among european countries as well as in agreements involving many developing countries where it to take effect in india it could significantly hinder India's drug industry, which is also a major exporter of affordable drugs, India's op- Indian officials have, have rejected data exclusivity as a point of negotiations in FTA through leaked drafts of agreements suggest that it is alive. However, India's rise up in the drug manufacturing chain in the last few decades means that it must invest in an ecosystem that can conduct ethical drug trials and make new molecules and therapeutics from scratch. The paradigm that drug development will always be expensive and confined to, confined to the West need not be permanent and uh, as we seen in the de- development of several novel technology approaches to developing vaccine in India during the COVID-19 pandemic but as preparation India must invest substantially more in fundamental research into uh, research to incubate the local drug industry into future. Next message is the clear message in the code no to electoral bond. The judgment of the Supreme Court of India on February 15, 24, striking down the electoral bond schemes is a landmark moment. Democracy requires transparency, and the fact is that the electoral bond scheme was opaque. Voters in India have no idea who has been funding political parties and the amounts given in all leading democracies. Transparency is the basis of campaigning, campaign funding. The court has restored the transparency funding limits removed. There are other legal issues. The first is the limit of funding on funding by the corporate house or organization. Again, the world over is this amount is limited to prevent undue influence of the, on the government. We had... We had such a provision in India before electoral bonds were introduced to the judgment says the chief reasons for corporate funding of political parties is to influence the political process which may in turn improve the company's business performance. Electoral bonds also remove the earlier limits on how much of its profits a company would do. Could donate to political parties. The scheme even allowed loss making companies to make donations. This could have opened the door for shell companies to be formed with the purpose of challenging channeling funds to political parties. The Election Commission of India has said this, op- this opens up the pol- possibility of shell companies being set up for sole purpose of making donations to political parties. This Two has been reversed by the court. By this court, democracy is going through a phase of chronic capitalism where big money funded political parties, in turn, in return, laws, policies, schemes, and initiatives were made for the benefit of the donors. In a limited way, the Supreme Court's judgment prevents this form of form happening in India. There was an amendment to the finance bill in any con- country. The central bank alone has the authority to issue currency such as notes and bonds. Such Section 31 of the Reserve Bank of India Act says only the RBI or the central government authorized by the RBI Act shall draw, accept, and make or issue any bill or ex or of exchange of or 
promissory note for payment of money to the bearers of the note or bond. The government amended the RBI Act using a finance act and allowed under the new clause 313 the central government to authorize any scheduled bank to issue electoral bonds. This amendment to, to the finance act to has been struck down. A well thought out plan. We need to pause for a minute to understand a few issues. The amendment to the RBI Act was passed in a finance bill as this does not have to be passed by the Rajya Sabha at the time of the introduction of electoral bond schemes. The ruling party did not have a majority in Rajya Sabha and wanted to avoid a vote in the upper house. But can any issue be inserted into a finance bill. Electoral bonds have nothing to do with the provisions for a finance bill. Again, a number of laws were amended to introduce the electoral bonds such as the RBI Act 1934, the Representation of People's Act RPA 1951, the Income Tax Act 1961 and Companies Act 2013. It was careful, carefully thought out. It was in response to a Central Information Commission ruling that the political parties have to be completely transparent about their funding. The Electoral bond were introduced to bypass the CIC ruling, but why are the political parties afraid of transparency? The legal system remains opaque to the so called ordinary citizen and voters when four laws are amended to introduce a scheme that strikes at the root of the democracy, namely transparency layers and of a few questions are drawn over the scheme so that the citizen gives up trying to understand it. But these are not technical issues, there is these are issues that affect the very basis of democracy. This also raises fund fundamental issues in a democracy. Any government with a majority can pass any bill which becomes law. There is no concept of an independent vote in India and the ruling party members have to vote in favor of government. Unlike, to, unlike in the United States, this means that a few people at the top of a ruling party can get almost any law they want went want passed in the <coughs> in the case of electoral bonds process for public consultations and discussions in parliament were not followed the essence of the judgment the supreme court judgment can be summarized as follows the electoral bonds scheme has been struck down all amendments to the rpa act the finance act 2017 and the companies act 2013 and violation are violative of Article 19 and 14 of the Constitution. Article 19 refers to the right to information and Article 14 to the right to equality where arbitrariness in laws in, is not permissible. These articles are part of the fundamental rights in Indian Constitution and can be violated. The Supreme Court has directed the State Bank of India, the sole bank receiving fund in exchange for electoral bonds to stop issuing them. The SBI has to submit the full, full details of the all electoral bonds that have been issued so far to the Election Commission to, in, of India by March 6, 2024. In, in turn, the ECI has to be published this information on this website within two weeks. We need to note that the two constitutional bodies, the ECI and the Supreme Court, have acted in favor of democracy. The power of judicial review of laws passed by the parliament on the basis of the constitution and previous. We need to applaud the constitution and those who framed it. The issue of money in election, which included includes the use of black money and bribing of voters using campaign funds and freebies, remains. It is said that the price of democracy is eternal vigilance. The Supreme Court's judgment is the outcome of the vigilance by the citizen who need political parties, but it is up to us to ensure that they work for the good, uh, the good of the society and the nation. Next article is Torpedo Refueler Aircraft in Deal Cleared by the DAC. The Defense Acquisition Council DAC on Friday accorded acceptance of necessity AON, the first step in the procurement process for the proposal worth 84,560 crore rupees. The proposal includes some long pending deals such as such as for Navy Wet Torpedo, Heavy Wet Torpedo, HWT for the Navy Scorpions class submarines and flight refueler aircraft, FRA 
for the Indian Air Force IAAF beginning phase. Other major deals include medium range maritime reconnaissance and multi mission maritime aircraft for the Navy and the Coast Guard new generation anti tank mines, air defense, tactical control radar, and software defined radars, radios further to keep the Indian naval ship one step ahead of the threat posed by the advisories. The AON under the by Indian category has been accorded for procurement of the active, active towed array. Sonar having capabilities to operate at low frequency and various depth of depth for long range direction of advantage advisory submarines. The AON has been also has also been accorded for the procurement of AWT for enhancing the attacking capabilities of a Calvary cases. Submarines, the Defense Ministry said the DAC accorded. AON for procurement of FRA for enhancing the operational capabilities and reach of IAF deals for AWT, FRA and Taud array sonar have been repeatedly delayed and the process now begins again. The delays were due to allegation of the corruption and in the interim existing order generation torpedoes have been customized to fire from, fire from the Scorpion with delays in their procurement, the IAF has been looking to release aircraft for training purposes and keep the existing six IL-78 aircraft for operational tasks. The AON for procurement of a medium-range maritime recon reconnaissance and multi-mission maritime aircraft has been granted by the DAC for the strengthening the surveillance and interception capabilities of the Navy and the Coast Guard over the country's vast maritime area. DAP 2020 The procurement of a new generation anti-tank mines have seismic sensors and the provision of a remote activations with additional safety features have been approved under by indigenously designed, developed and manufactured category of defense acquisition Procedure DAP 2020. The DSC has approved amendments in the DAP 2020 with respect to benchmarking and cost computation, payments scheduled, and procurement quality. The DSC also cleared the AON for sustainable sustainment support through repair, replacement, replenishment for the 24MH60R multi role helicopters procured by the Navy from the US under the foreign military cell route. Then I you last article like youth Chava report India tells a Central Asian countries. India has urged Central Asian countries to use the port of Chavar located on the southeast coast of the Iran to enhance connectivity and trade with India and other countries in the world. Participating in the sixth regional dialogue of the Secretaries of the Security Council, National Security Advisor on Afghanistan in in Kirzig capital. Bishbek, India's Deputy National Security Advisor Vikram Misra, is, Vikram Misra called for an inclusive and representative government of, in Afghanistan and said the approach to, towards the Taliban ruled country should be based on consensus during, the, during his inter interaction with the delegates, delegates from Iran, Russia, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and Turkmenistan. Mr. Misri invited Central Asian neighbors to utilize the Chabar port as well as the Saudi Sahid Best Best Terminal at the port for maritime trade with the India and other countries of the world said a source preview to the discussion that focused on terrorism, drug trafficking apart from connectivity in the region. India has not recognized in Taliban the Taliban outfit which came came to power in August twenty one. After the end of the U.S. occupation so last November, the old embassy of Afghanistan that was being run by, run by diplomats aligned with the old regime of President Ashraf Ghani shut down and uh, facilitates that have taken been have been taken over the over in Delhi, Mumbai, and Hyderabad by diplomats who did not leave India. The discussion at the Brisbane came days after the barely a fortnight after the head of the Indian. Technical 
team at Kabul participate in a discussion in Kabul with the stakeholder in Afghanistan that was chaired by the Taliban's Foreign Minister Amit Khan Mukti Muktaki, India's, India's participation at the regional discussion has raised raised eyebrows on February 15, India highlighted legitimate economic and security interest in Afghanistan and argued that New Delhi stayed fast with this policy in support of peace, security and stability in the Afghanistan. Immediate priorities. Our common immediate priority include providing humanitarian assistance, ensuring formation of a truly inclusive and representative government, combating terrorism and drug trafficking and Preserving the rights of the women, children, and minorities is the Indian side stated in Bisbeck. So, friend, this is all for today, and we will meet from tomorrow onwards with new news articles from the Hindu newspaper, which are relevant from UPC perspective. So, till then, keep studying and thank you for listening. Have a good day.